Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Bedicher again. And what I want to talk about in this video is how we go about mapping EER diagrams to database tables. Now what I want to show you here is when we have the cardinality between two entities, how do we take the cardinality and map it to a database table? And I'm listing four types of cardinality, one to one, one to many, many to one, and many to many. Let's deal with each case. And <clears throat> before we do that, I'll just mention the following. When we map to a database table, one of two things can happen. Either we use in two tables a foreign, a foreign key to go from one to the other or one to the other, or we create this intermediate table, which is a branch which bridges the two tables. So we'll put the word FK for foreign key here, or we have intermediate table there. Now if we have a one-to-one, -one, let's say, this is the only one I can think of, we have a monogamous, monogamous relation, husband-wife, and we say that the husband has one wife and the wife has one husband. So it's a one-to-one. -one. So if we have an H here and a W there, then we could do one of several things. The husband, we might have a husband table, and then we have a foreign key from the husband table, let's say, to the wife's table. Or, in the wife's table, we can have a foreign key going the other way. So, we can use a foreign key there, and we can have an intermediate table. Let's say we'll call it uh, spouse, and it has the husband key, maybe the social, and the wife's key, and so it's a separate table, and collectively, the husband social, wife social, would make a key in this intermediate table. So the design supports both a foreign key and an intermediate uh, table in the design perspective. Now let's come down to the next one. Really, these two are identical because if you have one to many or many to one, all you have to do is reverse the entities and you've got the other you know, representation. So for now, we'll just focus on the one to many. And let's assume we have faculty, student, and we have advises. So one faculty member advises many students. Now, can we have a foreign key from faculty to student? And the answer is no, because if we have a foreign key, we don't know which student to put into that value in terms of advisee in the faculty table. So we cannot have a foreign key going from left to right. Since the student only has one faculty advisor, we can have a foreign key from student to who's my advisor in terms of the faculty, maybe ID number. So in this case, we can have a foreign key, but it has to go left to right. And one way I remember it is I look at where the one is, in this case it's on the left side, so we can have the foreign key going from right to left in this case. Likewise in the example below when we have many to one, we can have the foreign key going that way, it's going towards the one, and that would be, uh, oops, sorry I got this backwards, this should be right to left, and this should be left to right. Okay. Likewise, if we have a foreign key, we can always have an intermediate table. So that's certainly an option there. Likewise, we can have an intermediate table there. And how we would handle it, let's say I'll just show you this example. What we would do is take the faculty uh, SSN, maybe the student ID, take those two together, make a separate table like the advise advise table, and so we, we look at that relationship uh, by taking, extracting out a key from each, making that intermediate table. Finally, down below here, if 
Finally, down below, we have the many-to-many -many relationship. In this case, can we have a foreign key? No, because there's no one on the other side. We would have to use an intermediate table. So, in summary, there are four types of cardinality, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one. These two are the same, except we flip the, you know, where the uh, entities are, and then many-to-many, -many, four types of cardinalities. And we can have a foreign key if there's a one on the other side. So we can have a foreign key going there. We can have a foreign key going there. We can have a foreign key going right to left, but none from left to right. And the third one, from M to 1, we can have a foreign key going from left to right, but not from right to left. And finally, in the M to N, there are no foreign keys. All four cases, we can have intermediate tables. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.